Hey, Miss Eureka. Miss Mabel, Miss Honey, Honey. Big Mac, that time. Marquita, Miss Lee's house, Miss Rhonda. Katrina, Miss Joanne. Serena, Miss Joel. Lamar, Linda, how you doing? Janice, Ross City Mind. Darlene, Thompson, Brown Sugar. Melissa Monroe, Stephen, what up? Miss Amarissa, Selena, Miss Chrissy to you. Oh, Poochie's okay. Yeah, Poochie fine. We call him about Billy Earl. You back hood? Yeah, I'm on the phone with the vet. I'm trying to see what's going on. Trying to get some recommendations on something. Family Homestead, hey, hey, hey. I heard what's going on. What's wrong with Poochie? Nah, it's Billy Earl. He, 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 uh... He, he, he a little on the downside if you can buy some pumpkin from grocery store. I'm going to check it out. Jitterbug. Hey, nice to nasty. They got me on hold. Also, while I'm doing that, I'm on YouTube trying to find something on YouTube. Oh, okay, that's good. Yeah. Hope everything is okay. Everything gonna be all right. Ask the vet. I'm asking. I heard praying for Big B.E. Thank you. No poochie in the house. More commonly known, goat and sheep polio. Stay tuned to find out more. So I know a lot of y'all probably was wondering what I was gonna do when I got off the live. I'm doing some research. See how she's winking right there? She's winking because she can see my finger coming in and it's causing her to blink. Now, in blindness, you'll notice she'll take your finger and go in towards the eye and they won't blink at all. It's because they can't even see your finger coming in here. Uh, so that's a that's a good example. Now, as I said, the number one thing that you want to uh, give... I found out how to um, tell if they blind right, or not. So we're going to give five milliliters uh, subcutaneously to the affected animal. 
Uh, we're going to do that uh, every 12 hours until they get better, and then we'll... Hello and welcome. My name is Delcy. I'm founder of A Life of Heritage, and I just want to welcome you to my channel. and die with them is going to be only up until he passes. It's the stew water, I hope it right, in addition to fresh clean water. Yeah, the stew is uh running. You know, when I looked at it before, when I, when I looked at it from before, when I looked it up before, I had seen that. So, uh, with something else we do, with the uh, scouring and the coccidia. The coccidia is something that you don't want. Um, I don't and remember the last we don't time have I a perfect okay. ideal farm to where yeah, they it's been a while. Concrete. I need to get some. And, um, yeah, forever they're in a barn. Thank you, Ms. Denise. The elements. They hey, live can out here. Can you hold them down to keep them cool? Uh, and you're going to have rain. And you're going to have uh, poop. Yeah, you're I gonna gonna keep them hosed down. That, uh, can cause coccidia. So what I keep them hosed down. cord. It was a happy blue sky kind of. Hi, right, welcome back to Fall Farms. I'm Boone McFall. And today we are going to give you a recipe for a down goat. Uh, we've had some issues taking care of some of our goats after kidding. Parasite loads. Go Let's Google the symptoms and you get answers. Uh, yeah, I'm on the phone with the vet. They got me on hold and I'm looking at YouTube. Who can you? Once again, man, the first way for me to write is an excellent choice. I'll say good then. Yeah, but where you get that from, Miss Jewel? Is that something like Tractor Supply K? Well, well, look who's live today, the Hilltop player. Hey, Secret Garden State, how you doing? Thank you, Miss Trina. Who's pregnant now? Nobody that I know of. Poochie was a false pregnancy. Is that the same vet that said Poochie not pregnant? Oh, no. Thank you, Miss Mabel O'Neill, for the uh, gift, for the donation. They done had me on hold for about 12 minutes. Check on him later. They do that my weekend. I thank you, Miss uh, Holla Family Homestead. I'm gonna keep y'all. I'm gonna keep y'all updated. Hello, sir. Hello. Hi. I'm so sorry about that. We are doctors a bit busy at the moment. Oh, that's Is fine. there a good um, phone number I can have for have to, have to have her call you back? Yes, ma'am.
look like the hilltop is where all the prayer. <laughs> um, I um, I um, I um. They said they gonna call me back. They said they gonna call me back. So, I guess we're gonna wait for them to call us back. seen diarrhea one time I looked that up when I first seen him do that it told me like they can get that from pretty much not eating enough green stuff you know what I'm saying when I looked it up that's what it uh shoot some Pepto Bismol he should be okay I'm uh I'm gonna see what's up I'm 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 gonna get down to it Is he dewormed? Yes. Um, when Miss Shea Roundtree uh, had him castrated, because I'm not sure if y'all were that. Thank you, Miss Shea Roundtree. Thank you, Miss Shea Roundtree again. She uh, the one had set the appointment up to get him castrated, and um, during that, I went on ahead and got him uh, dewormed. He's not trying to fight you today. He ain't trying to do nothing. That boy ain't trying to do nothing. Kill Pepe in his food. What is that? He's not trying. What is that? I don't even know what that is. What's good, hood? How you doing, Ralph? Hey, Miss Wanda. He needs some hay. What's good, hood? How you doing? Is he eating? Huh? Uh, you know what? I'm gonna see if I can find a ride to get him some hay. Let me see. Let me check my phone. Hard to find people get you do shit. Let me try something. Just hopes he get better. He gonna be all right. Hey Stephanie, shout out to Compton, California. I ain't even know I had subscribers from Compton. Shout out to Compton. Just hopes he get better. He gonna be all right. Trying to see if I can call him with a ride. <laughs> what the vet say? They said the vet was busy right now and that they was going to call me back. They took my number. I'm just guessing because I want him better. I appreciate you. Y'all, let's not panic. Other live is still open. Is it? Oh. That's crazy. I ain't even know you can go live on two things. Oh. Yep, yeah. they ain't answer.
Why y'all at throwing a little prayer out here for my cousin? Yeah, lost his 11 year old daughter last night by hanging herself doing a TikTok. Oh no, Miss Wanda, we so sorry to hear that. We praying for y'all. Hood, you always stay cool headed when things happen. And you usually write about what's going on with the animals. Um, I'm gonna tell y'all why though, because something that I learned, um, I don't care what it is you got going on. Always remember, panic ain't gonna make it worse. If you drowning, panic ain't gonna make it worse. If you about to wreck, panic ain't gonna make it worse. Always remember, panic ain't gonna make it worse. You see what I'm saying? Um, sometimes you find yourself stressed out and and all and all and acting all crazy then come to find out everything works out in your favor and everything don't be as bad as you thought it was and you had that episode because you was panicking hey smiling t um yeah so i wasn't always like this this is stuff that i had to learn how to deal with you know i remember one time i was doing a wheelie on a dirt bike and um i was coming around the corner on the wheelie and it was a car stopped in the middle of the street I didn't panic. If I would have panicked, I'd have hit that car. I'm talking about, and I was coming fast because my neighbors, they was like, I heard them say, oh my God. That's that's how crazy it was. I heard them say, oh my God. Like they thought I was going to hit that car. If, if I would have let that make me panic worse, I'd have hit that car. What I do, my grandma lived right here. Like on, in the, I was coming in the corner. My grandma's house was right here in the corner. The driveway was right there. It was a little raggedy. I had that blue suburban park right there at this time. So it was a little hill. And I just had to go for that hill. And I went for that hill and everything was all right. You know what I'm saying? You know? So don't panic. You know? Hello, Miss Amelia. Have we decided how you're going to get the Pedialyte? Does your Walmart deliver? Do they have some date delivery? Um, I haven't figured it out yet. I'm going to see if I can call a ride. That's, that's what I'm gonna have to do. Get your ride back. Shit. <laughs> I know what you mean, but tracks to supply far. You know what I'm saying? Tracks to supply far. That's that's one of them situations. Um I'ma pick up, y'all said, pick up some pumpkin, some Pepto Bismol, and some Pedialyte. And I'ma get a tube. So I can put some of this stuff in and shoot it down his mouth if I got to. I had to do that with Bella's daddy one time. You know. But um yeah. Shit crazy. I'm not even really worried about the weather. I just know it's a little farther away. Thank you. Um, thank you, Miss uh, Miss Miller, for the donation. Praying he'd be okay, handsome. Thank you. We gonna go out there and check on him. I'm gonna take my phone in case uh, the vet people call me. Poochie right here laying on these clothes. I said I'm gonna bring Poochie in because if Poochie do end up being pregnant, then I want her to be comfortable.
Let me tell y'all what he did. Let me tell y'all what he did. That's Billy Earl right there, right? That's Billy Earl right there. Now, and I don't know if y'all remember from the first live, but he was facing the other way. So he have gotten up and moved. You see what I'm saying? He have gotten up and moved. I wish I could buy you one of them bikes with the motor on it for real. Hey, listen, why y'all bullshitting? I was on Facebook Market. I swear to God I was on Facebook. I ain't bullshitting. I was on Facebook Market looking for one. Look at them up there. They up there ganging. Shit. Y'all remember Will? I'm going to get up with Will and Matthew. Shit, we going to be everywhere over the city. But nah, I would have rode that motherfucking track supply right now. <laughs> I would have been scooping that motherfucker. What about the corner store you be going to? I mean, I can go there and get some Pepto Bismol, you know. Oh, the vet calling me back. Hello? Hey, is this Mr. Bennett? Yes, ma'am. Hey, this is Dr. Trimcomb from the vet school. How are you? All right, and yourself? I'm doing just fine, thank you. You have a goat that's sick? Yes, ma'am. What's going on? He's actually laying around. He, um, he has diarrhea. He seems to be pretty weak. And he's making some noise, like he like. Hmm. Are you there? Yes. Can you hear me? I could barely hear you. Sorry. Oh, let me see. Okay, there we go. Okay, I w I was saying he seems to be down, like he he has diarrhea, mm -hmm. and um, he um he he seemed to be weak, and he's making some noise, like a hmm. Mm hmm. Hmm. How old is the goat? Um, he's a little over two years old. Probably going on okay. three. Okay. Um, do you, have you ever dewormed him? Um, yes. Yes. Okay. Um, and when was the last time you did it? And do you know what you used for that? Um, I actually took him to the vet. It probably was like, uh, maybe three, four months ago. I had him castrated. Okay. Yep. Do you think he could be needed dewormed again or? Um, sometimes if they get diarrhea and they get really bad parasitism, um, mm -hmm. they will get diarrhea like that. And then, you know, I don't know if you know how to check the eyes and look for the eye color, the, oh. whether it looks anemic or not, but you push down on the eyeball with the upper lid and then roll that bottom lid out. Oh, shit. I don't want to put his eye out. Oh, you're not going to. <laughs> you're not going to. Uh, um, you push on the eye eyelid down and then roll the bottom lid out. And if, you know, you're just looking at the very bottom. And if that's really pale white, then that means he's anemic from worms. Push the eye down. How do I? So if you push the, the top eyelid, push like his eyeball, take the eyelid and push it down over his eye. Push his eyeball in and then use your other hand and pull the bottom lid down so you And this is real mm. run. You hear that breathing? Yeah, it sounds like he's almost agonal, like not. Is he down and unable to stand? Um, yeah, he down. Okay. And his eye don't look good, to be honest. I mean, I'm not sure what I'm supposed to be looking for, but. But it looks really white. I mean, it don't look white to me. I mean, I don't know. I'm not, like, sure. I'm not sure. I'm not sure because I'm yeah. not. I don't want to tell you the wrong thing. Yeah, no, you're fine. So mm -hmm. it's it sounds like he's groaning mm -hmm. and like not in good. Mm -hmm. Has he been grinding his teeth or anything? Um, I don't see him grinding his teeth. Okay. I see him chewing how, every now and then. Do you know how long then. he's had this diarrhea? This just started mm -hmm. in between last night and this and today, because he was out okay. running around yesterday. You know, being his regular old self. Mm -hmm. He he grabbed. Um, has he eaten anything? I mean, I guess so. The, the first of all, the deal is you're in West Virginia, right? Do you right. have you don't have a area he's always been in? Right? 
down. He can't stand up. I mean, earlier, I picked him up and made him stand up, rinsed him off with the water hose. Yeah. Um, He walked a little bit. Then he ended up sitting down. Then when I first came back in the house, that's when I called y'all. Then I walked mm -hmm. back outside. I see he's sitting the other way. So he done got up and moved the other way. Mm -hmm. Now he laying yeah. his face on this table and just, you know, making that noise. Yeah, he doesn't sound good. I mean, whatever it is, it's not good. Yeah. Um, you, he, what is something? Not a client, yeah, I mean, you can, I don't know that there's a lot you can do for him. Um, you know, you can offer him some water with Gatorade in it. Um, what about Pedialyte? Yeah, that'll work. Yep, you can try to syringe that down his throat. That was I was going to do, syringe it. Yeah. Okay. Um, and you could also do, like, if you have kaopactate or... What is that? It's it's an anti-diarrheal. Because that's something you can get from Tractor Supply. Um, You should be able to get it from the pharmacy. Um, what pharmacy? Like, the liquid, just a pharmacy in general, like... Oh, that is that like a human whatever. medicine? Yeah, like a human pharmacy. Yes, it is. Oh, okay. But well, you can give them like um, an anti diarrhea orally. Yeah. Is the diarrhea something that I have to give them? Because eventually that'll stop. Pretty much I'm worried more about. Um... He doesn't sound good just from what I'm hearing. That's a, that's a, I feel really bad, you know? Yeah, but I mean, you can try to give them an, an, an anti diarrhea. To home to Blacksburg. Right, right, right. But see, the thing yeah. is, is getting to Blacksburg right now, mm -hmm. transportation wise. Mm -hmm. And then, you know, I'm on other people's time, so. Right. This sounds like an emergency, so I ain't, you know, ain't no. Yeah, it does sound like he he's not in good shape, I don't think. You right, know? right, right. So, but parasites, I mean, in this, I would definitely put that really high on the list. Um, if you have, do you have any dewormer? Um, I did have some, but I can always go to track supply and get some more. I'd rather get some fresh yeah. kind anyway. Well, the problem is sometimes they have, so the dewormers, first of all, you need like two or three dewormers to give him. Because if you just give them one brand, it doesn't work. You need to give multiple Oh, okay. See, I only had one, and I think it was something yeah, from like... Yeah, it's probably the white one, the face guard or whatever. That stuff doesn't work by itself at all. None of them do. Yeah. Go on. Yeah, but what I'm telling you... You need it. You know, I usually use face guard plus, like, a prohibit plus a cydectin or, like, an ivermectin. Cydectin is better. Track supply sell that? Um, I think they do, but it's in a pretty big jug. Then. Uh huh. And it's a a liquid per sheet, and you want to use that. At, I would give them two and a half mils per ten pounds. You don't fall in the safeguard. You want to use the the dose on the bottle is not correct. I use about one and a half per ten pounds for the safeguard. Okay, okay. Yep. Um, so you could give them the safe card if you can get this, the, you know, side actin or whatever. You could give them that. It's the, there's two side actins. They have a cattle pour on and then they have like a clear one. Hold on. I'm going to write that. Is that the big jug that you're talking about? Uh, well, there's different. The side actin usually for sheep comes in like a one liter. I think it's a one liter or 500 mil bottle. And get back to, and it's gonna say sheep, Cydac right? So Cydactin, it's an oral drench for sheep. That's a dewormer. It's C Y D E C T I. I mean to be. Uh -huh. So I just want to make sure I get this right. Dang. I'm trying to find ink pen. 
problem is that battle, I don't know. You said it costs quite. I just found yeah. But the one you telling me to get? Yeah, I mean I don't know how much it is, but it's probably like fifty to hundred. Well, right now I gotta do what I gotta do, you know. Okay, now yep, can, you can you just check it out? It's called Side Act, and it's C Y C Y D E C. Uh -huh. T I N. T I N. I see that too. No. Okay. Now, what was the other stuff? Uh, the side action, that's the stuff I was talking about, and then the safeguard. That what you have, the white dewormer. Okay. And of course, you said Pedialyte as well. Yeah, I mean, you could definitely syringe some of that down him. Which one do you think I should give him first? Uh, I would probably go ahead and deworm him, but if you can't get the dewormers, you can give him a little bit of Pedialyte first. And then you can try to find an anti-diarrheal kaopactate or, uh, like an Imodium or Pepto-Bismol also is, you know, you oh. can give him some of that. That's okay, well, I'm gonna do Pepto-Bismol, because that's, that's the, uh... That's the uh, uh, simplest one, you know. Yeah, I'd probably give him like how much does he weigh? Um, probably like twenty mils is fine. Twenty mils. Twenty thirty mils, something like that, milliliters. Okay, that for Pepto Bismol. Yep, a couple of tablespoons. And you said two mils. How much of that uh, first dewormer you said? So the cytokine is going to be two point five milliliters per ten pounds. Okay, and um, and then the safeguard is one point five milliliters per ten pounds. And I and it's safe to uh mix those like instead of trying to no, give just syringe one down the throat and then do the other one. Oh, okay, okay. But don't mix them. So should I wait in between time? No, you can syringe one and then the other one. I just want to mix them initially first. All right. And then can I give him some Pedialyte right after that to get out? Yeah, that's fine. Okay. Just be careful if he's not feeling really good. You know, sometimes just go slow. Right, so you don't choke him in that. Yeah, it doesn't. I mean, it can go down into his lungs, right? All right, all right. Thank you, ma'am. All right, you're welcome. Good luck. Thank you so much. Mm-hmm, bye-bye. Strength to your hood. Thank you. I'm telling y'all, he's gonna be all right. Now, I got some safeguard. I think I'm gonna get a different bottle because my shit is old and I need a syringe. I still gotta find a ride though. Low Wode. for surgery. Oh, I don't know about that. What about your auntie? Breathing hot air ain't good. Ain't good either.
and Billy Earl went to the vet for surgery, didn't they say he was 150? I don't even remember, to be real. Look in the box I sent for pink stuff, please. Okay, look in the box I sent for pink stuff. Hey, what you doing? Oh, yeah. Is anybody over there with a car that can give me a ride? Tell them I pay on gas money. Okay. Who, is she at y'all's house? Thank you, though. Yeah, it's all right. Thank you. I love you. Okay, I love you too. All right. Now, look. I'm glad y'all seeing this because let me tell y'all something. A lot of y'all tend... When y'all get in situations and be having stuff going on, like for instance, if you was panicking, you would be looking for the first person to help you. Anybody, somebody, please. Now, a lot of y'all would be mad because a person is not able to help you. If they t if you call them for a ride and you tell them that uh, and they tell you that they can't give you a ride, they got something going on, y'all going to be mad. You can't do that. That's not how life works. You can't make your problems somebody else's problems. People be having shit going on before you bumped into your problem. So you can't expect for them to stop what they doing and boom. And it's not even that people don't want to help you. Sometimes it's just. You know, they got enough shit going on. They got their own problems. So they ain't able to stop what they doing and help you. So, you know, I think you all should keep that in mind. Because a lot of y'all be ready to go uh, make a post like, oh, fuck everybody. I ain't. Don't get your feelings in it. You hear me? Do you have an Uber or Lyft? We don't have those here. That's how small my town lift <laughs> I know I'm telling you matter of fact I think I downloaded that motherfucker last night yep indeed let me see some yeah that motherfucker lift around some lift around here I'm gonna lift the shit out of some shit you hear me no bro What we say, tractor supply? Shit, tractor supply, baby. Yup, East Cumberland. Now look, damn, that's a long time. This ain't that motherfucker. Rob at 507. Let me see if this thing work. Confirm and request. And I ain't even going to tell y'all what made me download Lyft. Do you have taxi in your area? No. Taxi over with. They took away taxi when Lyft and Uber came out. That's how about? Let me see. Oh, no. Oh, hell no. They talking about. They talking about pick up and drop off, hell <laughs> You hear me? I need, I need, I need a round trip. Add a stop. That motherfucker say add a stop. And, 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 and look, and look, look, look. I'm, the add to stop is going to be at Tractor Supply. And then I'm going back to my house. But I don't know how you would do that, though. Um, um, 
don't know how you even do that. Oh, okay, I think I found it. Hold on. Well, damn. See, I'm, I'm messing up. I keep messing this shit up. We praying. Thank y'all. I'm still trying to find some ride with somebody. Well, everything all right words when you're a good lady friend. Listen, let me tell you something, Miss Pickles. I told myself, I said, I said, I said, I'm going to quit dealing with so many women. You know what I'm saying? And I did. I ain't did it in a long time. Like, I really be ducked off. But times like this, situations like this, a nigga can use a good lady friend too, huh? <laughs> I feel you. You hear me? I say I need to do some recruiting around this mountain back. You hear me? But it come with too much extra shit. I might want to ride. Yo, what up with you? Man, what you doing? Oh, okay, how that's going? Right, 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 right. Shit, I was... Yeah, I'm good. I was just seeing what you was doing. I was needing to ride and try to supply, but shit... I see you in Whitfield. I'm going to have to figure it out, buddy. Oh, okay, okay, okay. Well, shit. I hope... Yeah, I hope everything work out for you. If you end up having a box left, I'll take one. All right. Well, no luck there neither, buddy. My buddy. You need to ride to the grocery store first. Um, 
Now nah, I'm gonna go to track the supply and then I can stop and grab that Pepto Bismol on the way back. I need to get this medicine from track the supply first before anything. Let me call my cousin Jazz. Let me see. I've been calling since my phone died too. Let me see. I'll come and take you to the damn store. <laughs> You need to look in the box I sent you. Hello. I, you did give me something now. I think about it. Hey, cuz, what you doing? Hey. Now, nah, I need a big, big, big favor. Yeah. I need to ride the track to supply. Um, Billy Earl is a little sick, and I need to grab a few things because I can't get him to the vet, so I need to grab a few things from track to supply. Um, you gotta call the drugs, so I don't have right now. Oh, okay, okay. All right. All right, thank you. All right. No luck there. <laughs> Let me try something. I'll call you on mercy. Agent, look for Pepto in the box. I got you. Uh The reason I asked, because Jazz said a car was over there. I was going to ask him if he can run me the tractor supply. Oh, okay. But thank you. Okay. Y'all know what? I got to tell y'all something. So, boom. So, I don't see the Pepto Bismol, right? But I do kind of remember her sending some Pepto Bismol. You know what I'm saying? But I'm going to be all the way real. I don't see the Pepto Bismol. And this the little box right here. But I'm gonna tell y'all though, something that I be doing. Damn. Shout out to Miss Jewel. Cause I know you got me some uh I know it's the pink stuff. I know you got me some. I just don't know what happened to it. Now look. Now let me tell you what I think happened to it. Don't quote me on this, but this is what I think happened to it. If I can't find that Pepto Bismol, I'm going to tell y'all what I think happened to it. So, boom. Sometimes when my mama come visit me, I be having so much stuff. If I got extra, I give it to her. You know what I'm saying? And whatever it is, and that's vice versa. It's been like if she got something extra that I need, she'll bring it to me. You know what I'm saying? So I think she might have, I might have gave her the Pepto Bismol. Now I'm not sure on this. That's why I'm saying don't quote me on this. But if I don't see the Pepto Bismol, that's the only thing that I could logically think. 
But I might have not even gave gave it to her. I probably have misplaced it in one of these boxes or something. You know, that's just the only thing that I can think of. And I'm saying that so we don't discredit Miss Jewel because we're seeing it. I'm telling y'all, I do. Check the fridge, man. Oh, I definitely wouldn't have put it in the fridge. I ain't even know you supposed to put the shit in the fridge. I, I check my damn bathroom cabinet. <laughs> Indeed. I swear. That's what I did. I, first thing I did, I looked up in there. Let me see. Hold on, I'm about to see if I can get a ride. Hold on, hold on, hold on. Hold on real quick, bro. Hold on. Just holla at me later. I'm going to rap to you. Nothing. I'm going to rap to you in a minute. That's what I'm saying. It ain't no rush. Just whenever you, you know. about to because she sent a lot of stuff. to walk my ass off this hill. That's what I'm getting ready to do. Tear them boxes up. I'm going to make another box. No, 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 no. You don't have to. You don't have to. Listen, we're not going to let um, a bottle of Pepto-Bismol make us think that, you know, everything is okay. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to grab us a bottle of Pepto-Bismol when I get out. I mean, when I get there. I, I promise y'all. Look, let me tell y'all something. Pretty much, now y'all see why. I... Goddamn me. About eight, nine people. I done called about eight, nine people, you hear me? So you know what that means? See, uh, for Billy Earl, I gotta do it, man. You hear me? For Billy Earl, I gotta do it. We can't really make no complaints. We can't sit here and complain about what we can and can't do. Yeah. I gotta do it. If I gotta walk out that bitch with my thumb out like this. <laughs> yeah. You hear me? For real. Better be mismatched as hell, but I don't care. I don't care.
I don't need no hat, cause I ain't trying to be seen no way. I don't need no hat, cause I, I love you here. You're such a beautiful soul. Thank you, Miss Robin Smith. That's that neck fan in a bottle of water. Cause I did have it on the charger. Neck fans work. Take the cart, Miss Peoples, and send it there. Oh, yeah, okay then. Okay then. Yeah. I'm talking about them little babies that do you good like they should. Oh, yeah. People gonna be like, what this dude got on? Yeah. Look. Look at that right there. Damn. Miss Jewel, these babies feel good. You hear me? I said 11 million box. This is gonna hard to keep them off of me now. Let me break a sweat out of that motherfucker. Yeah. <laughs> Look. Billy Earl. He ain't even alert at this point. You know what I'm saying? Billy Earl. Jumping his head up like when I yell his name. Billy Earl. I'm going to make him stand up. Stop stalling and get the step. I am. Yeah, you right. I better go, huh? Well, I'm gonna have to get off this live. Damn, let me go grab my other phone. Cause this phone on Wi-Fi. Put the water near it. I'm gonna put some more over there.
to here. Hello? Can you hear me? Yeah. Hello? I put my phone on the charger. Hello? Uh, not yet. I mean, I, I heard, I, I called Dreamer. Um, she, uh, I don't think she could find him at the time. Oh, okay, okay, okay. All right, thank you. Yeah. I'm trying to find my damn phone. I don't even know what I did with my damn phone. I'm trying to find my damn phone, y'all. I got to call it. Damn. Well, look, y'all. I'm gonna get up. I'm gonna get up off here. I'm gonna go and start walking. I'm gonna get up. Y'all updated. Y'all be cool.